I'm Jessica, and welcome to the Monday Minute, where we share tips and tricks on how to make your experience with Sensources People Counting System the best that it can be. Today we'll take a look at the Videx People Counting Sensor and everything that's included as we unbox it together. The Videx is our most popular model. It's the go-to for standard applications, and we have over 10,000 sensors installed to date. When you order a Videx sensor, we'll send you a tracking number, and then you'll receive a box that looks like this. Inside, you'll find a set of instruction sheets, a sensor, an Ethernet patch cable, a surface mounting kit, and some optional items that may be included are a PoE injector with a second patch cable and a pivot mount. Let's take a closer look at each of these items. The installation guide that you'll receive will be based on whether you're installing the sensor yourself or using SenseSource's installation services. If you're installing the sensor yourself, you'll receive a simple sheet like this that has QR codes so you can download the full installation manual. If you're using installation services, then you'll get kind of a general installation guide here, and both of the documents will include um, contact information so you can reach out to our tech support team to finalize your install. Now let's take a look at the sensor. It's a small, sleek device and is unobtrusive on your ceiling. It has a removable cover that we also sell in black. We ship the sensor with the lens cover that you can remove upon receiving. These holes next to the lenses are where your mounting screws will be inserted. In the bottom corner, there's an LED to help with troubleshooting and knowing when your sensor is powered. On the back is where the network cable connects. The green sticker indicates which entrance or location the sensor is programmed for. This is very important when installing sensors at multiple locations within your building. There's also a white sticker with an arrow to note which direction the sensor is to be mounted. You want the arrow to be pointing inside the building. Now let's take a look at what's included in the mounting kit. We include everything you'll need to surface mount the sensor to a drop tile ceiling or a fixed ceiling type. We also include a paper template so you can mark the placement of the screws and where you'll drill the hole for the network jack. For a drop tile ceiling, you'll use this set of screws with the washers and nuts. For a fixed ceiling type, you'll use these machine screws and anchors. The mounting kit also includes an optional back plate with quarter 20 screws. You'll only need this if you're using a mounting accessory like an extension pole or pivot mount. This is what the optional pivot mount looks like. It's pretty common, especially for ceilings that are slightly sloped or have some obstructions in the way of the sensor's view that require it to be dropped down a few inches. The last items are for performing a short cable pre-communication test. If your switch is PoE, you'll just use a single patch cable and connect your sensor to your switch. If it's not PoE, you'll use both patch cables and the PoE injector. If you have any additional questions about the pre-communication test, please refer to your included instruction manual. Now this is all that you'll need to get started installing your people counting sensor and to begin counting foot traffic. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to your account rep or fill out the contact form on our website at sensorsync.com. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any upcoming tips or tricks from Sensource. Thanks for watching.